All right, so here we go with the second uh, installment of the Arma 3 campaign. This part is called Adapt. So this particular quote definitely fits the bill. So uh, what we saw in the last episode two is my boat taking me to the main island of Altus was shot down and apparently I'm alive. <sighs> On the beach and everything. <sighs> By a stroke of luck, I guess, for the sake of the plot, in one piece, because that's what it seems. I'm sure I'd be dazed, but it has to be expected. What the fuck? I don't see anybody. Oh, scratch that. Got my sidearm, but I can hear the radio. Anything on him I can tell you? Oh, just the radio. Sergeant Hardy, how copy? Sorry about this, buddy. Hello, Lieutenant. I read you. It's Carrie here. Lieutenant, do you copy? Over. What the fuck? Carrie, is that you? A piece of him. What's your status? Where's Sergeant Hardy? He, uh, party didn't make it. I'm sorry. I found him washed up on the beach. I, I have absolutely no idea where I am. Shit. All right. Can you pick out any landmarks? Any choppers or shelling? Yeah, uh, both, I, I think. Look, I'm on a beach. I can't see shit from here. You got a map, at least? Uh, negative. Right, listen carefully. It sounds like you're nearby the old capital, Kavala. That's where the fighting is. We're just to the north of it, on Overwatch. We? First off, get some place where you got a view of the city. If you look north, you'll see two hills. One with a radio mast. Radio mast. Got it. That's not it. Huh. We're dug in on the other hillside. Just in case. Our grid ref is 0-3-9-1-4-3. Try to make your way to our position. We'll be here until dark. Understood? Got it. All right. Good luck, Kerry. Out. All right. Well, there's Caval over there on the right, and you've got the two hills right in front of, uh, right in front of me. So on the left is the one with the radio tower. So I should be going off over to the right. Now I don't understand how this happens, but I get shot out of a boat, but somehow. My shirt, my backpack, my helmet, everything just gets shot off. You know, gone. So, anyway, I gotta go into Kavala here. I gotta be careful too, but... I don't know. I think I'll be in a good position to engage the enemy. Because I don't think they would make me go up against a bunch of guys with just a handgun. I mean, that'd be stupid. Well, the pistol can be effective. Oh. I thought I saw a couple guys as I was approaching, but they saw me. Um, let's go in here. All right, got to stay down, though. Now, since I know that they've spotted me, my best chance really is to sit here and wait for them. So I'm doing a little camping right now. I can hear choppers above me too, so this is not good. Now granted, the enemy and the choppers haven't spotted me. Where are they? Are they sitting waiting for me to make a move? They must be. Oh, yep. This is not good. I don't even have that much ammo. Oh, how much do I got left? I only got two rounds left. And there was another guy. Um, I might have to try and get the rifle off of him. 
Okay, gotta get down. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, come on, I just need the ammo. Okay, and the helmet. Why not? Oh, I'll need a map. Lieutenant, update. I managed to pick up a map. Proceeding to your location now. 039er, 143. Over. Oh, there he is. Good work, Corporal. Ow. Got him. That was sheer luck. It's the only way to explain it. Whew. Oh. Now someone else shooting at me. Better make this quick. Anything I can get off of him. Um, I'll take the med kit and the ammo. Um, some more ammo. Okay, grenades will be helpful. Might need the smoke. Not going to need the chem light at all. But I got to stay down because whoever was shooting at me has stopped. Which means they can't see me. So stealth is key. Alright, so I'm going to make a break over this hill. I say make a break because I'm going really slowly. But it, depending on the steepness of the hill, it uh, determines how fast you can actually go. Like if it's really steep, you got to go a lot slower. Okay, so still going for the hill right in front of me. Now carrying all this extra weight has made me a little tired. So I'm breathing a lot heavier, which is not good if I have to go into combat because then my accuracy decreases by quite a bit. Um, okay, I'm going to hug this here. Still nobody? Um, I'm going to have to make a break for it across the street. Was that somebody up there? I don't see anybody here. So, all right, laying down for a little bit. Nobody over there either. All right, I'm I'm good. Okay. Still completely uninterrupted. So, since Delta's on Overwatch. Oh, Chopper. I'm going to have to hit the ground now. At least get a little bit closer. Oh, there it is. Nah, I'm not going to worry. It's pretty far off. I wonder if it's because I'm booking it. Like, if I was going slower, and those guys, like, jump out of the Chopper like we saw in the last episode... I'd be in trouble. Okay, so I'm already just about where I need to be. So this has got to be the easiest mission in Arma that I've had so far. I just t killed two guys. Take uh, take their equipment. Kerry, watch it. You place defensive mines to our rear. Be sure to approach our position from the south. How copy? Understood, Lieutenant. Appreciate the heads up. Out. All right. Approaching from the south. I think that's them up there, too. Hey! All right. So. Yep. Good to see you, Kerry. All right, no landmines. Head down and make yourself comfortable. We'll be here for a while yet. Hey, kid. I've got a spare shirt and vest here. It's gonna get cold after dark. I, uh, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, I have successfully completed the easiest mission in Arma, so more of this to come later on. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I hope you have a good one.